being politically incorrect can make you President of the United States. It's uh, days before Thanksgiving. A few days after Trump has won the presidential election. So a lot of these, so I'm still getting now. Uh, various uh, Trump videos on my uh, YouTube feed. And it's, uh, to me, it's pathetic when, when an adult, not a child, when, a, when an adult tells Trump or tells people like Trump that uh, to be politically correct, to um, not use harsh words, you know, be a little, be a little softer with us. Be a little bit more rosy. And uh, in the current time, there's no, uh, you know, we haven't had a terrorist attack in a while. Like the uh, San Bernardino shooting, Pulse nightclub shooting. Or uh, what was the other one? The Fort Hood, I believe. Because currently, in the year 2016, there's still a problem with radical Islam. And some of those radical guys are still um, pinned down and fighting in Syria, in Iraq, and Afghanistan. And I think America helps them a lot. In some cases, it's on purpose to make profits off of uh, uh, warfare, weaponry, and machinery. And other times, it's a bunch of fucking idiots who um, don't want to call out the uh, actual threat known as Islam. Me, I don't practice any religion. Um, it's not my cup of tea. And some, some people could say, you know, you're just fucking hating on religion. You know, I'm not, I'm not hating on these um, Buddhist Jains. And someone who uh, follows the. Um, religious path or spiritual path of, of Gandhi or uh, or who are those guys the, uh, and I'm not uh, <laughs> I have yet to make a video out of my 2000 plus videos criticizing the Amish they're not the ones that hijacked the plane and crashed into, into the World Trade Center, they're not beheading anyone. So, I'm cool with them. I'm not a fan of, of them. So, I'm not uh, picking on, uh, on, relig on the religious. I'm picking on, I'm picking on those that threaten uh, democracy. And when uh, President Trump, soon to be President Trump, spoke about calling out ISIS as a threat, when um, bitch boy Obama was too uh, scared to call it radical Islam. Me, I don't trust that piece of shit. I don't trust him at all. He's the greatest hype job next to Ronda Rousey, another hyped up, but um, well, she's a hyped up fighter.
but we need to be aware of all this fucking bullshit to say, you know what, uh, you know what, little Timmy, you shouldn't be dreaming so big. You shouldn't be thinking so big. You need to um, chill out. You know, be one of us. Come uh, party with us. Come drink with us. Come, come become average like us. Come here. Get all those dreams. That's for um. That's for the bosses. You're not a boss. You're one of us. You're you're a worker. You're just a regular worker. A re you're, we want you to be a Joe nobody like us. And uh, I'm here to say fuck that. Especially if you're a fucking American. Look, we have the internet. We have the right to vote. Look, right now I have the I can go fuck around, drive to Vegas, party. There's a poker tournament or a casino I can go fuck around or meet some drunk hoes, some drunk bitches, some gold digging bitches. And fuck this off. But uh, why would I do that? That's not. Um, That's, that's where we live, where we could fuck around and be reckless, but, uh, but no, I, not my, uh, I may think of it once in a while and be like, yeah, you know, I should just fucking go fuck around. But I know how much work there is to be done, how lucky I am that I'm not in uh, North Korea. Having to have a mandatory Kim Jong Il fucking portrait in every uh, room of my home. That I could um, go to the grocery store and choose a uh, fruit that's in season, a fruit or vegetable that's in season, or the juice. You know, we got it fucking good here. And a lot of us like to... And I used to... Overlook this shit a lot. But no, no. No, no, I should need to... Uh, stop doing that shit because... It's uh, shameful. Shameful. And uh, I gotta call out you guys and myself, you know. Okay, come on, let's get let's get this shit done. Let's get serious. There's a lot of stuff to do. Yes, we're gonna lose sleep. Yes, we're gonna, we're gonna wake up early in the morning and um, not want to get up. Oh, just 10 more minutes in bed. I'm tired. I don't want to um, go to another new city. I don't want to go to another state. I don't want to leave the country. Go to un unknown territory and uh, risk losing uh, my money, my party money, my drinking money, my, uh, my money to go to the theaters, to go to the movies. Those who know me know that I've uh, wagered a majority of my chips, of my bets on this, uh, on this calculated gamble here to um, make my creative, um, my creative, um, the creative part of my mind uh, to capitalize on it, and I. Uh, Still run into a naysayer here and there.
But um, and at times I, I walk away from the conflict. Because I don't like to waste energy or time. But when someone tries to make a point in a crowd with other people, I uh, strike back with my uh, a general response that Although I could be upgrading my um, my shoes, my wardrobe, um, my uh, coffee pot, my my drawing chair. I could do that right now, but I like having saving a little nest egg just in case something, just in case of the unexpected. So, so I don't. I don't corner myself in the position yet. You know, although I live a very in a humble way, not as great or as comfortable, physically comfortable as some some of my critics. You know, I sleep good at night, knowing that you know what I made. I made another video today. I made it. I had progress on one of my drawings today. Um, I don't. Uh, there's no certainty of my success. It's almost a zero percent chance that I'll succeed. And I'll say zero because I don't know. But. There's a, a comfort there, knowing that uh, I'm doing it my way. And I'm going to tell you, I'll recommend to you to also do it your way. And I don't mean uh, go ahead and run up all your credit cards, take out loans from everyone, and um, go rob a bank or some shit. No, just uh, calculate it. How would you do it? How can you be politically incorrect? You know, make it happen your way. How can you do that? What's, what's at risk here? To me, what's at risk is life. And uh, those that have uh, know my past know that I've left a, uh, a comfortable living, a comfortable, steady paycheck, a guaranteed paycheck. A lot of a uh, couple sexy girlfriends, a couple ugly ones. A lot of uh, party times behind, but I was politically incorrect and uh, put myself on this path. Hold up on that piece. I'm going to come back with the yellow, but I got to erase some of the pencil so it doesn't. Uh, Show through the yellow, show through the light color. Alright, well, that's it for now. 
no excuses, make it happen.